Good evening everyone, so tonight I'm going to be showing you guys how to go and install um, Steam under Wine. Um, now there is the Arch Linux Wiki page for Steam running under Wine, uh, but I'm going to do this one a little different tonight. Uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to go to the um, Arch repo and grab it from there. Uh, so we are going to be looking at this one, a Steam wine git um, let me zoom in um, actually let me clear this up all right so you're gonna have to have um, either Pakur or uh, Yawr to grab it you can't do it with Pac-Man so let's look at it uh, so let's go see if we can grab it with Yawr I think it's uh, we'll start with steam see what comes up I already have steam for my Linux distro but I want to get the one under wine and I think it's toward the end it is right here um, steam wine git so this is what we want to get alright this is number 51 So that's install. Let's see if it shows up here. And it looks like he's already creating um, a 32 prefix automatically. Hot damn, I didn't even click run. All right. Um, I don't know what the hell just happened. Oh, here it goes. All right. So it's going downloading the patch. It's going to update it. Now, one of the issues that I was running, and I don't know if it's gonna is gonna present itself here, is when I follow the instructions, when I actually grab the executable and I run it, it does install, but um, I'm having problems with the browser. When you open the store, the store page, the funds are not coming through, and the uh, webhelper.exe error comes up. So, and this takes a couple of minutes while it's grabbing everything. Yep, and here's that. Uh, let me close this. All right, log into an existing account. And we'll come back once I'm logged in, all right? All right, so um, <laughs> so here's the main page. So one of the problems that we have here, uh, it's a couple of them, right? We got the web helper issue and also the, um, the browser is not displaying. So if you go here, they do tell you Client store built in, browser not working, blah, blah, blah. You have to use the CEF base runtime sandbox and support. All right, so I need to run this with this command here. Okay, that's what I need to do. So let me go here. Let's take a look. Um, let me go ahead and quit here. So I can open a terminal here. Uh, open terminal here. So. Now, if you look here, the instructions on the wiki, it's just telling you to just go and steam.exe. Well, I haven't set up the other part here, so I just I ha actually have to type wine steam.exe, and then and we're going to copy this. No CEF sandbox, and that's only one hyphen, I believe. Um... I go ahead and close this. All right, so now this is coming up. Um, now I still notice that there's no f fonts here. All right. All right, the store does come up, but as you can see, we aren't able to see any of the of the fonts. Um, oddly enough, we can see this here. Um, let's see what else they're saying. Okay, 
and then no tax render problem this should not be an issue with 17.5 if there's no tax font render when starting you should start steam with the parameter no d all right so now now i'm looking at an additional parameter here all right so all right let's go back here let's go ahead and exit i don't know if this is going to work or not all right so then Yep, it's still not there. Um, this is so freaking annoying. Um, let me look at something else. Uh, it could be because I'm trying to run the 64 bit version. So let me look at something right here. So it's called Steam Dash Wine. All right. So let's see. Steam. And see the weird thing is from here you can see the text just fine. It's just that blasted store. A it doesn't want to load. B. Uh, all right. Let me go ahead and exit this. Yeah, I want to shut down that now. But okay, then then the other one is this one. Um, no dash d right and that's on the wiki page which i doubt it will work So let me see if I can install anything to wine tricks. All right, so I'm gonna use the default wine prefix because that's the one I chose. I'm gonna hit okay. I want to look, I want to install the font, right? Uh, core font. Um, let's see, any other thing that I should include here? Uh, we'll try this one. don't know if I'm missing anything else that I should but you know what let me go ahead and grab this one this one this one
All right, so I am back. As you can see, um, I went ahead and I ran Wine Tricks, and I installed a couple of um, fonts and a couple of other DLLs that I was missing. And as you can see here, I can see the um, the text now. Um, so let me go and see if I can find a game, maybe a free demo. Um, All right, we'll try this one. Let's see if it works. Oh, let's try this one. Oh, well, this one works. I'm not sure if this is showing up on. Um... Hang on a minute. Let me go ahead and switch over to um, OBS. I don't think a small screen recorder will grab this. All right, so now we're running this under um, Wine slash Steam. Um, I needed to switch over because um, small screen recorder doesn't record this very well. All right, so let's go here. Just let's go to just a new game real quickly. All right, da, 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 da. all right. So let's go here. Okay, have some left. All right, why don't we go with here we go. And I don't even know what the hell this is about. Uh, I just grabbed it. Trying to look for something that would work under Steam. Running with wine. Oh, I'm supposed to click? Okay. Well, that's it. I mean, it's up and running. Uh, it's just a matter of time finding out which games do work and which don't work. Um, all right. Well, thank you for watching. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, put the notes as well, which um, libraries and fonts I installed.